All right, we're going to look at lesson seven review, rounding multi-digit multi numbers to the nearest thousands. The first number we're going to look at is 32,879. And we're going to use a vertical number line to round this number to the nearest thousand. The first question I need to ask myself is, how many thousands are in 32,879? I see that there are 32,000. How do I know? Well, two is in the thousand place and three is in the ten thousands place. So both of these numbers are in the thousands place. That lets me know I have 32,000. So I would write that number as my lower endpoint. So I'll write this number 32,000 in my lower endpoint place. The next thing I need to ask myself, if I add 1,000 to 32,000, what will that be? Or what will, what will be my number? 32,000 plus 1,000 would give me 33,000. So I'll write that number here at my upper end point. So now I need to find out what is my midpoint. My midpoint is my halfway number that's between 32,000 and 33,000. The best way I could do that is to just count up and to this point right here, my midpoint. So I count up, I say 32,100. My next number would be 32,200, 32,000. 300, getting kind of tight here, 32,400, and my mid number would be 32,500. So my midpoint will be 32,500. Notice my number is 5. So my number would be 32,000, midpoint 32,500 and 33,000 is my upper end point. So my last question I need to ask myself, is 32,879 above 32,500 or below? One way to show is that I can look at my hundreds. I have 500, here I have 800. So this number is larger. So I need to move this number above. So as you can see, 879 it's close to 33,000, so I can place that number right here, 32,879. So now I, I can ask myself, is 32,879 closer to 33,000 or 32,000? As we can see from the vertical number line, that is closer to 33,000. So we can write 32,879 rounds to 33,000. Let's look at another multi-digit number. We're going to round 78,600 to the nearest thousand. Again, we need to ask ourselves, how many thousands do I have? As you can see, I have 78,000. So I will write that number as my lower endpoint, 78 thousand. My second question I need to ask myself, if I add a thousand to seventy-eight thousand, what would be my number as my upper end point? So a thousand plus seventy-eight is seventy-nine thousand. Notice that the difference between seventy-eight thousand and seventy-nine thousand is one thousand. Another way to find the midpoint between these two numbers is to divide the thousand. What is half of a thousand? Well, half of a thousand is 500. So notice my five here. I use the same number here, five, as my midpoint. So it seems like five is that magical number to find the midpoint. So I can actually put 500 here. And since I'm counting up, I will put 78 here. So that's another way to find the midpoint. Just divide the thousand because the thousand separates 78,000 from 79,000. 
Alright, half of that is 500. So I'll put that into my number. Rewrite 78 here because I'm counting it up. 78,000 halfway is 78,500. And then I have 79,000. So the next question I need to ask myself is 78,600 above 78,500 or below? Like we did previously, we got to look at the hundreds. I have 600 here, here's 500. This is more than 500, so obviously this number would be above 78,500. So what I could do is write it slightly above because 600 is just 100 more, so I'll just put it slightly above. And this will help me round this number up or down. So as you can see, 78,600 is closer to 79,000. So what I would write is just 78,600 rounds to 79,000. So the one thing I did differently was I took my thousand because I added a thousand to 78,000 to get 79,000. The 78,000 is my lower endpoint, while 79,000 is my upper endpoint. And since a thousand separate these two, to find out my midpoint, I just simply took half of a thousand. And we found out that half of a thousand is 500. So that became my midpoint, 78,500. So I asked the last question is, is this greater than 78,500 or less than? And we found out because there's 600 compared to 500, that this number is greater than. And because this is greater than my midpoint, we will point to the number above, which means that this number will round up to 79,000. So we say in conclusion that 78,600 rounds to 79,000. Let's look at a third example. Now we're going to round 251,031 to the nearest thousand. I ask myself that question again. How many thousands are in 251,031? Notice what I just said. 251,000. <laughs> just by saying it lets me know how many thousands I have. 251. So I'll write that as my lower end point, 51,000. The second thing I will ask myself is, if I add 1,000 to 251, what will be my new number? If I add 1,000 to that, like I did previously, just to show it, add 1,000 to that, that will be 200, sorry, 252,000. So I would make that my upper end point, 252,000. Like we did previously on sample two, we will simply take half of a thousand and we found out that half of a thousand is 500. So I will write that number here for my hundreds, five hundreds, and I will simply use 251 to find my midpoint because I'm counting up again. 251,000, halfway is 251,500. And then the next number is 250,000 even. So this is my midpoint. Here's my lower endpoint, midpoint, and my upper uh, endpoint. So the next question I need to ask myself is, is 251,031 greater than 251,500 or less than? Here we go. We look at the numbers in the hundreds. We have no hundreds. 31. So as you can see, this number is less than 500. So this number would be closer to 251,000. So as you can see, 251,031 is very close to 251,000. So I write that number close to this number as my lower end point. So as you can see, 251,031 is closer to 251,000, which means it's going to round down. So I will conclude by saying 251,031 rounds to 251,000.
thousand.